Let's talk about wide receivers now. Some options that you might want to pick up on the waiver wire. First up, Kiki Kuti of the Texans. What do you got, Frank? Yeah, this is because of the Will Fuller injury. Uh, we just saw this past week on Thursday Night Football, Will Fuller was absolutely dominating the Miami Dolphins secondary, and then he unfortunately went down with the torn ACL. He's going to miss the remainder of the season, but... The team has also now traded for Demarius Thomas, so he steps in at likely as the wide receiver too, but Kiki is still going to be able to do his thing out of the slot. Look, this is the year of the slot receiver. Tyler Boyd, Adam Thielen, Cooper Cup when healthy. These are all wide receivers who dominate out of the slot. Now, we would have liked Kiki QT more if Demarius Thomas wasn't traded to this team just because of target share and opportunity, but opposing defenses are going to zone in on trying to stop both DeAndre Hopkins and Demarius Thomas on the outside. That's going to leave Kiki QT to do damage in the slot over the middle of the field. Uh, the Texans have been able to run the ball better as of late, but we saw when Kiki was healthy, uh, you know, about a month ago or at this time, they used him on a lot of short passes close to the line of scrimmage as an extension of the running game. I expect a lot of that to happen once again uh, as he gets healthy and returns from this hamstring injury. So we like Kiki QT. We would have loved him if Demarius Thomas wasn't traded to the team, but we still like the opportunity here because opposing defenses are going to be trying to stop those other weapons, Maria. Frank talks about the addition of Demarius Thomas. However, at some points this season, even before the Will Fuller injury, I would say Kiki QT was in play as a decent fantasy option. And until we know what this Texans offense is going to morph into, it's definitely a good time to take a shot on QT.